Tarry and this latest revelation. What is the truth behind that particular story? Hi, good morning, Neil Sean here in the very heart of London. Nice to have you come with me today. And as ever, nice to see what you're up to. Thank you so much for all your kind comments. By the way, can we just say a very huge and very grateful thank you to everyone who commented about Errol's birthday. He was truly moved. Uh, couldn't believe it, in fact. And he was doing exactly what I told you he would do. Yeah, he was sitting down for his lunch, watched it, saw everybody around the world uh, thank him and wish him all those good wishes. So truly, from the bottom of his heart and mine, thank you for being so kind. You really did make someone very happy uh, that day. And of course, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Trying to make people happy. And thank you. I really, truly mean that. It's really, really kind of you all to take the time. I did show him a lot of your messages as well. But a bit like uh, some of us out here, I think. Mm, not everybody I know watches this show. But some of us, he's not that digital. Do you know what I'm saying? <laughs> Shouldn't say that doing this job, should I? But no, he's about as digital as you and me. Yes, you, you know the one. Yeah, yeah, you're like me. You can't get the right button, can you? Back as ever though to your breaking story of the day. So this particular story really centres on Prince Harry as we now know. He's popped off to the Netherlands, The Hague, for the Invictus Games and of course wherever he goes there's controversy following him. As we know he's gone along with his wife Meghan Markle and of course all the little bits and pieces that will leak out towards the end of this week. What's interesting to note though is this particular story about his forthcoming memoir, you know the one that he's uh, been paid quite a bit of money for by Penguin Random House. Now this particular journalist and as ever we have to say allegedly but she's been all over the news basically saying that Prince Harry's set to slate his stepmother Camilla. Now it's interesting isn't it because as we know Prince Harry and Meghan Markle didn't really find the time to congratulate Camilla when she became, uh, thanks to our gracious majesty the Queen, the Queen Consort. You know, lots of people did on social media, but sadly for Harry and Meghan, even on their website, they didn't see fit to offer congratulations. This of course sparked a lot of speculation as to where was the relationship between Camilla and Harry. Well, let me tell you, they had a very, very good relationship, you know, for many years. In fact, he spoke very glowingly of her. And this is recorded on video and on radio too. What he really liked, I believe, was this. He liked the fact that, you know, Charles was suddenly finally happy and he wanted to see his father happy, as did William. And if Camilla made him happy, then they were happy. That was the sort of phraseology of it. But now, according to the author, journalist, Tina Brown, the former magazine editor, she basically said that he's going to be slating um, Camilla in this brand new book, her book that she's busy pushing. Now, as ever, you know, one could say, well, situations change. And as we know, Prince Harry's uh, situation has changed dramatically over the last few years. And of course, he may want to, you know, reveal certain bits and pieces, particularly at the beginning of the very fractious relationship with Camilla. There was a little bit of animosity there. Nothing as big as people were saying, though. But for now, I think it's a little bit harsh to say that Prince Harry will be slating her in the book. I think what he won't want to do is truly offend his father, Prince Charles, any further. But more importantly, I truly believe this, that obviously when you have a book to sell, like Miss Brown, and you need to get headlines to make sure people buy this very expensive book, then you can speculate anything. And as we often know, the royals, even ex-royals, simply don't answer back. For now, my advice in this particular story would be wait and see. But all I can tell you is, and I heard this directly from Prince Harry himself, was that he had a very good close relationship with his stepmother and not only that, but with her children too. So one has to wonder exactly where did all that go wrong and at what period in time did it go wrong? As ever, when I know more, you'll know more. Neil Sean in the very heart of London.